Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the Chapman cycle. So the Chapman cycle is extraordinarily important if we are trying to answer one question and I've already written out here for you. So if UV radiation is strong enough or high enough energy to break apart oxygen and ozone so it forces them to decompose, how is it possible that we still have oxygen and ozone left over in our atmosphere to protect us from these harmful rays? So the answer is the Chapman cycle. And so before we even get into this, I want to answer the one question I'm always asked about the Chapman cycle. Do we need to know the Chapman cycle? Yes. If I'm taking the time to make a video on this and write out the cycle, you absolutely need to know this thing forward and backwards. So to start off with, we look at oxygen. Now we already know that when oxygen interacts with UV radiation of very high energy, so wavelengths less than or equal to 242 nanometers, we know that oxygen breaks apart into two monatomic oxygens. Now, from here, these oxygens can then do one of two things. They can either interact with oxygen or with ozone. So let's look at the interaction with oxygen first. So if monatomic oxygen interacts with diatomic oxygen, all that happens is it comes together to create ozone, which is great, right? We need ozone in our atmosphere. So now this ozone right here, we already know when that interacts with UV radiation, something of uh, high enough energy, so wavelengths less than or equal to 320 nanometers, we know that this then breaks apart into diatomic oxy oxygen and monatomic oxygen. Alternatively, ozone could react with one of these leftover monatomic oxygens, right? Come together to create two diatomic oxygens. So if you didn't follow that, here's the shorthand. We start with oxygen, it decomposes to create regular old monatomic oxygen. Monatomic oxygen can interact with other oxygen, diatomic oxygen, to create ozone. Ozone can then decompose to create diatomic oxygen, which then goes to monatomic, which then goes to ozone, so on and so forth. And it continues and continues and continues so that we are always having oxygen and ozone in our stratosphere to protect us against harmful UV radiation. So one question here at the end of this video, in theory, that's the most important part, Will we, as humans, ever run out of oxygen and or ozone? Go. Have a great week. Take care of yourself and drink water.